Hello, my name is Jojo Lima. Uh, I'm a Lima, uh, and I'm one of the patriarchs of the Lima family. My Lima's role is to help me communicate whenever I'm shy, anxious, or lonely. Mary is my wifey. Hello, Mary. Hi, Jojo. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm doing good, Mary. My name is Julia Young, and I have pervasive development disorder. People with autism are creative, fun. We're just like everyone else. Take a bowl and put it in there. It doesn't matter if it is. OK. Everyone has different methods of keeping positive. For me, it's doing my radio show, hang out with friends, and having my lemurs. Here we go, Jake. Oh, thanks. Thank you. That's all right. Yeah, I talk through the lemurs, but they have great personalities as well. Oh, Julia, can I try a little bit? Uh, OK, Jojo. I've given all my lemurs different attitudes and obsessions. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, I'm really obsessed with socialising. Yum, what's your verdict? I give it two, two thumbs and two, two thumbs up. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. Talking through soft toys was something that she would have started probably at about two, possibly three. Are lemurs vegetarians? They are, aren't they? Yeah, they're fruitarians in the wild. Oh, that's but, right. Yeah. When I was in Madagascar, I would only eat the berries. But since coming here, I've learned to appreciate all types of fruits. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it helps her say things that she might be a bit nervous to say. Um, sometimes she just does it because she quite likes talking through them. This is one of my favourite rooms here, Julia's room. Oh, yeah, yeah, me too, Mary. Some of my favourite things is the bookcase over there. Jojo? Oh, yeah. Julia has quite a lot of cool things in the bookcase, including my party hat. Having developed that way of communicating actually made her quite articulate. Bye, Ma. Bye. I'm the youngest of four children. I did notice I was a little bit different than everyone else. I used to worry about what other people thought because I thought people would think I was a bit weird. She did suffer a lot, lot from anxiety when she was younger. Often it would involve periods of silence or sometimes the tendency to sort of become a bit OCD about things. Yes, um, repeat actions, running around, flapping the arms. I was a bit hesitant to fully be myself. That was something I struggled with for a while, but um, nowadays I'm OK with it. The word autism didn't really come into the equation until at school. She often didn't quite know what she was doing in class. And it wasn't that she was naughty, she just wasn't quite too sure what she was meant to be doing. It was when I was eight or nine years old, I was diagnosed. When I could put her on that autism spectrum, it was kind of a relief. It explained a lot about her. My lemurs go pretty much everywhere with me, but... Uh, we don't go with Julia when she goes into public toilets. We, we don't do that. My mum found out about Studio 2. I think art is a great tool of communication because you can add ideas into artworks. I first met Julia when I first started working at Studio 2. Which lemur is it, Jo? Claudio. Claudio! 
And I remember walking in and seeing this young woman with kind of these lemurs dotted around her. She calls them the party lemurs. How's the painting going, Joe? Uh, okay. <laughs> it's been a bit of an interruption. <laughs> they really help with Julia's navigation of social spaces. I like to paint too. I like to paint Julia's face. Yeah, yeah, Joe, Joe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I introduced myself, Ricky, one of the party lemurs, responded by saying, Kia ora, my name's Ricky. This is Ronnie, the other party lemur, and this is Julia. Oh, we're observing. They present as ordinary lemurs until they start to get their hands in some art material, and so they're bedazzled, and they like to experiment with tattoos, and especially in this pandemic, we've got lots of party lemurs designing their own masks and responding to the social happenings of the time. Julia's got such a unique way of existing in the world. She's thinking about social issues that she might find it difficult to communicate otherwise, but they definitely find their way into her artworks. Art should be able to make you think about things, and I like to incorporate little messages into my art. There's one that she's done that was about the horrible word retard, which she hates. The use of the word retard or retarded is never OK. I think that picture I did made people think. That's what I wanted it to do. She's such a remarkable person, Julia. She's an activist. She's really passionate about the environment and about disability advocacy, and she's always remaining positive. Claudia had a debut on the radio show. Was that oh, you mm. so Did you listen to it this yeah, morning, Shane? So. No, I noticed that on the news, they only seem to focus on all the negative stuff. And I was like, I know, I'll create a positive radio show. The Positivity Show. Positivity Show. Today we are very excited to introduce our special guest, Yaya Neil Finn. Thank you, Julia, Lemurs, and all of your helpers. My first two Lemurs also became a part of the radio show. I'm very delighted to have talked to you. You are a very good radio host, and I wish you luck with your show. So we've got an upcoming positivity show. We do. Yeah. So did you have any ideas who you might want to interview? Um, I have an idea. Yes, Jojo. Planning for the positivity show, me and Megan meet up at Studio 2. Her name's Leslie and she runs Otago Access Radio. Oh, good one, Jojo. All right. Julie was part of the Connections team and said that she actually might like to have her own show. And could she call it the Positivity Show? And this just sort of blew me away. Who could say no to that? As party lemurs, we consider Leslie to be an honorary member of the party <laughs> crew. So now we've got to figure out some questions. Planning the show, we just sit together and, you know, she and the lemurs come up with really awesome questions. And so I just usually write those down. Maybe we should start thinking about some of the things that she was doing before Otago Access Radio. We heard that she was in a band. Megan helps me by giving little prompts so that I can think of good questions. The party lemurs and I are curious, what were some of your favorite things about being in the band? Mm. I just kind of help and take down her ideas. Favourite things. With Megan, I found a friend who accepts me for who I am, and I wish everyone in the world was like that. We've just got our song break, and then maybe we should launch into some rapid-fire questions. Oh, this is my most favourite segment of the show. I love the rapid-fire questions. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do it. Cool. What's your favourite band at the moment? Keep firing them at me. What's your favourite dessert? <laughs> mm. What would yours be? Badoffy pie. <laughs> Yum. OK. Um, Claudio, what about one from you? Ooh. If you could go to any place in the world, where would you want to go and why? That's such a good question. All right. Uh, Luca or Joey, have you got a suggestion? I would like to know if, for the rapid fire question round, are there any concerts that you would love to come to Dunedin? Mm. Oh. And that looks like a pretty awesome positivity show. Well done. Jojo. Jojo. Elbow bell. 
Yep. Elba bum. <laughs> Here you go. Elba bum. Well done. I am so lucky to hang out at Studio Two with Megan and do music with Henry. All right. Should we give it another go? Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to get the beat flowing. Okay. Here we go. Okay. At Studio Two, I'm a music facilitator. For the last few weeks, Julia and I have been spending some time putting together a beat, and she's been writing some really cool lyrics, and she's going to rap on it today. We're working on creating a new opening for the Positivity Show. We got the beat and the rap. Now it just needs to be put together. Listen up, yo, my name is Joe Joe, and I'm here with Julia and the party crew to share with you the positivity show yo. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I think in hip hop they call that freestyle. Freestyle? Yeah. Nice one, Jojo. I've known Julia for a few years as an artist here at Studio Two, and I've recently become to know her as a wonderful rapper. I'm really pleased with that. What's going to be our next instrument, Jojo? Uh, yeah, yeah, nose drum. Nose drum? <laughs> If there was one surprise today, it was how great Jojo was at playing the bell drum with his nose. I think we got everything we need. Yep. That's a keeper. Yep. Fantastic. I have been on a bit of a journey. I used to be a negative thinker. I had struggles with anxiety. Because I was a negative thinker, it just made the anxiety worse. There were some bad times at high school. There was a bit of bullying. She experienced it more on the bus, not so much within the school. That was the only time I had been bullied, and it still states with me. And I ended up getting quite depressed. I noticed negative thinking made my anxiety worse. So I made a pact that my New Year's resolution for each year was to keep a positive attitude on everything. And I think it's working out pretty well. Oh, and the lemurs help keep me company too. Oh yes, we, we, uh, we help Julia to not feel lonely and negative. And also what I do is when Julia is feeling stressed, I'll bring out the twerking and it always makes Julia laugh. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Time to do the twerk. Twerky twerk. Twerk them. Twerky twerk. <laughs> That's good, JJ. Oh, thanks, hey, Julia. I have been trying to be more independent. I learned how to go on the bus by myself, which is really cool, because now I don't have to rely on Mum to drop me off everywhere. At the moment, Julia lives a very busy life. <laughs> I have to try and keep up with her. <laughs> she now has quite a group of different friends from different places. Hello. Hi. I've been reading a lot of fan fiction. About what? Um, mostly Pokemon. Oh, interesting. Billy and Hazel are friends that I met at Open Doors. What did the kind nuts taste like, Billy? Oh, all right. After Open Doors closed, we started hanging out on Fridays. Oh, question. Julia, what's been your favourite part of this week? Um, being able to hang out today with, with, yeah. with the peeps. Billy and Hazel have Asperger's. I can communicate really well with them. We can understand each other quite well and um, OK with me and the lemurs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about this, Joey? Yum. Mm -hmm. yum, yum, yum. Mm. So, Joey, what's your favourite kind of fruit? Um, I'm a huge fan of pineapple. Yeah. You know what? My first taste was pineapple juice. Oh, yum. Mm. Which is awesome, cos I just feel accepted. If people can't accept you for who you are, then too bad for them. They're... Agreed. We Don't are who we are. We're all unique and special in our own ways, and 
I don't think I'm too different than everyone else. Julia certainly enriches my life. I get to do all sorts of interesting things because Julia's doing them. We like to have this idea of normality, and society is far more interesting if everybody's different, and, and everybody has different ways of seeing the world. This is really cool. Mm. Someone Very must colourful, that one. Someone must have worked really hard on that. Gosh, yeah, I would say. We talk about learning other people's world views. That's a cool flower. Mm. Perhaps from an ethnic point of view and things like that, but what if we actually started looking at other people's way of seeing the world? This is I really like this nifty. One. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I. It looks like coral. Ah, yeah. You've got better imagination than me when it comes to these yeah. things. Yeah. My mum is incredible. She supported me. She's helped me towards what I want to achieve in life. Really, really love mum so much. Thank you, mum. You could do something like this at Studio 2 that you could play around with, just yeah. for ideas. Yeah. What shape would you make? I may need a bit of help, but... Mm-hmm. A yeah, tulip. A yeah. tulip. I'd probably do something really uninspiring, like a boat. Um, <laughs> what would you do, Claudio? I would like to make an origami tree. Oh, that's a great idea. Of course he would choose trees. I should have realised that. I am a lima. Exactly. I think I've had my world view expanded, actually, by Julia's. We sort of live vicariously this wonderful life through, through what Julia does. <laughs> Listen up, yo. My name is Joe Joe, and I'm here with Julia and the party cool. When she started the show off, she had the lemurs, and it's actually becoming quite a thing. Some of the notable guests we've had on the show, we've had local politicians, members of the Green Party, a couple of mayors, a range of musicians. Neil Finn, that was quite fun. I found out that he really likes toast. <laughs> Welcome to the Positivity Show. Bought to you by the Boom Boom Extremo Free Cycle Shopping Bags. When I'm in the recording in the studio, I learnt how to work the switchboard, turning on the microphones on and off and making sure to hit record before I start. We would like to introduce our incredible guest, Leslie Paris. Welcome to the show, Leslie. Thank you so much, Julia, and the lemurs for inviting me along today. Julia is incredibly original and unique and kind of brings delight with her. Oh, I am so excited. It's Mary here. All the creativity and skill that comes with the lemurs. We know you very well, but what I didn't know about you was that you were in a band called Look Blue Go Purple. That's right. That was quite a while ago, though. That was in the 80s. I played the drums in that band. To first come across that, it's sort of like, what's going on here? And then it just becomes completely natural <laughs> that the lemurs might ask a question and I respond to the lemurs. And so we're all just in a room together. No, I'm really inspired. I want to be in a lemur band. Yeah, yeah. You should so form a lemur band. That just blows me away. That's amazingly talented. It's time for a, a song break, Kate. Leslie, would you like to pick the first song? Sure. I thought, because we've just been talking about Look Blue Go Purple, we could play Circumspect Penelope. Awesome. Let's put it on. So great. Um, a lima band? A lima band. Can you band. imagine? Yeah. It'd be fantastic. I can, I can see them now. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a favourite lemur. I hope they understand. <laughs> but Jojo, Jojo lemur is definitely my favourite. All right, we're moving into rapid fire questions. Rapid fire question with the party lemurs. Rapid fire question with the party lemurs. With our special guest, Lizzie Perry. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Woo! Jojo gives me like really important advice. <laughs> you know, like personal advice, advice about my own art practice. Um, 
if I'm feeling nervous about something, he's always got a good um, positive message to share with me. OK, are you ready? OK, first question, what's your favourite band at the moment? My favourite band at the moment is the Velvet Underground, even though they're not current. What's your favourite dance move? Ooh. <laughs> You've never seen me dance. It's um, probably sort of a 60s groove kind of thing. That's her space. The, the radio station is her space and she is in control of it, but she also makes people feel really comfortable. My favourite dance move is talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's just kind of growing into being the host of her own show. She's so generous and caring and, and interesting, so it's easy to take that positivity on. Leslie, you have always been hugely supportive of, of me and the party lemurs. Oh, sorry, Jordi, <laughs> <laughs> It's OK, Jojo. Um, Leslie, you have always been hugely supportive of me and the party lemurs to follow what we are uh, passionate about, which is to create the best possible radio show. Uh, we were wondering what are some of the things that you are extremely passionate about? That's a lovely thing for you to say, thank you. And... The people I want to interview the most is Clark Gayford and Jacinda Ardern. That would be a really cool interview. And Chris Martin from Coldplay and Maytu Walters from 660. I'm a huge 660 fan. Awesome. How's everyone feeling? Julia has changed me. She inspires me every day that I see her. Um, she inspires me when I don't see her because I kind of have like Lima narrative running through my mind. Julie has given me, you know, a huge, huge understanding of what it means to communicate differently. She's brought me in to her space where she feels really comfortable and I just feel so grateful for that. She lives a quite extraordinary life and I'm really not only happy and pleased but really proud and sometimes quite overwhelmed how her life has changed and what, where she's going now, so. Heavens knows what she'll do next. <laughs> next time you'll see someone with a disability, go up and say, hi, and maybe you'll be quite surprised. Oh no, I got porridge on my foot. Uh -huh. What?